All right, so let's take a look at some other ways that you can enhance your images by using some of the different options that are included in these two camera systems. First of all, Fuji has what's called a film simulation mode, and Nikon has a similar one that they call picture control. What Fuji does is they give you a choice of different settings that match their film that they offer. So you can have different tones by just making your selection from things like Classic Chrome, Probia Standard, of Velvia, like we talked about, what I use on the outdoor ones. Uh, they have more of a, a soft effect. And of course, sepia and the monochrome. Plus, you can add the uh, yellow or red or green filter, giving even more enhancement to your image. So let's take a look at a couple of these modes. Here we're taking a look at monochrome from the Fuji X-T10. And of course here I put the kit lens back on, which is a 16 to 50 millimeter, because generally I always like doing landscape things with a wide angle lens. It just enhances things a little bit more. So first one is monochrome. And then watch what happens if we add a red filter. We get a little bit more of a darker sky. So what the red filter does is it darkens blue colors. So when you ever want to enhance the sky even more, you can add some filters to it, like yellow and Nikon has orange. And of course, red, though, is the deepest. After that, you can go into infrared, but that's another story altogether and another camera modification. But So we're just going to stick with monochrome for now. And of course, there's sepia. Now, the images that I just showed you were taken straight from the camera, but you can also do some post-processing like I did here in Photoshop. I just darkened the sky a little bit by just lassoing the sky. And I just, uh, using levels, I just deepened the sky tone. So you don't have to use the image straight from the camera. Don't forget it. If you're going to be doing some really neat photography, if you're going to be uh, doing like wall decor for yourself, and of course, obviously, though, if you're doing photographs for clients, you want to enhance the images as best as you can. It's the same thing that Ansel Adams used to do in the dark room. He did a lot of uh, burning in and dodging and that type of thing to enhance the images. So here we're looking at Nikon's picture control. It's very similar. They also have a standard tone, neutral. Vivid is a setting that I was using in the other parts of this shootout. I believe it was in parts one and part two. And I usually keep it on Vivid because I like a little bit more saturation and maybe just a little bit more contrast in my images when I'm doing landscapes. And Nikon also has a nice monochrome mode that you can use here on the first one. We've already added a yellow filter, and as we add on the next one an orange filter, notice how it just deepens the sky a little bit more. And then on the next one, we've added a red filter, which darkens the sky even more. And there's also the sepia, which is a, a brown tone. Now, both of these camera systems offer some really nice special effects, and Nikon calls their special effects whereas Fuji calls theirs the advanced filters. With the Nikon special effects, they offer certain things that uh, I just use occasionally. I don't use these filters actually a whole lot, but you can experiment with them. Color sketch is kind of interesting. The miniature effect, and of course, selective color, I've used that occasionally. That's where if you want to take a picture of, say, you're, you're at the beach, maybe in the sky is real blue, and you select blue, Everything is going to be made into black and white monochrome except the color that you select, which in that case is blue. So you're going to see a blue sky and maybe blue water. Everything else will be in black and white. So let's just take a look at on the first one here. You can see the miniature effect. And Fuji has this also, but the miniature effect, it blurs the top and the bottom. Kind of interesting. He also has something called a color sketch, which makes it look like it was a drawing. And if you make that into a black and white or a brown tone, it makes it look almost like a, a pencil or a charcoal type drawing. You can enhance what comes out of the special effects mode also. Now with Fuji's advanced filters, they have some really nice ones that I do use a couple of these occasionally. And I usually like using the Fuji cameras when I travel.